Thank you very much. And good afternoon, uh, President Beam, Dean Cook, Dean Perkins, Pastor Fields, members of the stage party, the board of trustees, faculty, families, and the class of 2010, especially to the class of 2010. Congratulations on your success today, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. Graduation is a very happy day. I was very happy on my graduation day at Keystone in 2000. I would also like to thank President Beam for his gracious invitation to have me speak at my alma mater. Since my graduation in the year of 2000, I have returned at least five times to visit the college. Every time I come back, I am filled with joy because the college continues to be more enriched, more beautiful, and more vibrant. It was 12 years ago, after careful research, college visits, and a visit with Sarah Keating in Thailand, I came 12,000 miles to Keystone College, the college of my choice. It has become the foundation of my success today. I am grateful for the knowledge, the experience, the support, and the loving kindness of all my professors here, as you will be one day. Keystone is where everything began. After I left Keystone six years ago, I received a bachelor's degree from the University of Maryland, and then three years later, I received a master's degree from Harvard University, which many, many people would believe that, that it was the uh, best passport to success. I should feel very secure about my future, right? But actually wrong. <laughs> I was very fearful and filled with doubt about my future as when I got my first degree from here. As joyful as the day was, so many of my classmates at the University of Maryland and Harvard shared the same uncertainty and fear on our graduation day. One of them said to me that she always had excuses for not starting doing anything with her life until she received this degree. Now, there are no more excuses. If she failed, it was all her fault. That is a very scary thought. The very same thought may be occurring to some of you right now, especially when you still have to go find a job or are still waiting to be accepted to the graduate school of your choice. Some of you may succeed right away, but some of you may fail a few times. That is very normal. Let me give you a great tip that works for me. It is about having clear goals. When you leave Keystone and you are home tonight alone, I urge you to write down all your dreams, your goals, what you want to achieve in life, the income that you want, and even the family that you one day plan to have. Let me tell you why. In 1959, at Yale University, researchers wanted to know if the new graduates had written down their goals. They found out that only 3% had written their goals down on paper. Then, in 1979, 20 years later, researchers gathered more data and found that the total income of that 3% was worth more than the total income of the other 97% combined. It pays to write down your goals as new graduates. So tonight, please find time to write them down. Take a look at them often and then update them from time to time. This has worked for me since my graduation. I now exhaust the list and have to add more dreams and goals. At Keystone, I learned how to set my goals. On my list, I wanted to write a book, just one, and it didn't even have to be successful. I have published 
three books in Thailand. They are all national bestsellers and sold more than 100,000 copies each. In Thailand, most books only sell at around 3,000 copies. To me, 300,000 copies mean at least 300,000 people that I may positively affect through the information in my books. It is not unusual when I go out to have someone come up to me and thank me and say that the books I wrote saved them. Others call to my company and say that they never consider going back to college until they read my books. There were also times when I go shopping or pay toll and see the person behind the counter reading one of my books. All of these things give any writer great satisfaction. Another of my goal was to travel to wonderful places around the world. Traveling was something very high on my list. The royalties from my books helped pay for my travel, and I was able to buy a house for my mother, a car for her on Valentine's Day. I wanted the car to be flamingo pink, but she insisted on black, so she got a black car. <laughs> and a piece of property by the river to build a weekend house. Families, I just wanted you to know what is in store for you. <laughs> I also wanted to have time to learn how to manage my own money and make my money work for me so I can be financially secure early in life. High on the list was also to finance a child's education, any child, and just one. My sister and I co-founded our Ocean of Wisdom Foundation that now supports 300 Hill Tribe children to remain in school each year. We are proud that our management fee is zero percent. My sister and I agreed to absorb the cost so all the donations go directly to the adopted children. If no one had stepped in, these children would have become sheep laborers or drug dealers. This is the wildest dream on my list. I never thought it would ever come true before I was 60. So now I know that everything is possible. You just have to start dreaming and setting some deadlines and also establishing some goals. On my list, I did not write down that I wanted to be voted by the Thai Cosmopolitan magazine to be the businesswoman of the year in 2007, but that did happen. I also did not write down that I wanted international recognition, but in 2008, I received an award of Woman of Exception in the field of science from Parmigiani in Switzerland. Life is not all too serious. I get to do TV commercials, model for Estee Lauder. It was beautiful. I sent it to all my friends. <laughs> they did a lot of free touch. <laughs> Elongated my legs. <laughs> That's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> Host TV shows and radio programs. Write weekly articles for two leading business newspapers. In fact, one is due tonight. And it's really great that my office can be anywhere in the world as long as there is internet connection. I think when you are so busy realizing your dreams and goals, sometimes the universe just surprises you like that. I know that these surprises await you as well. Be open to the possibilities. Goals are very powerful. They give you drive. They give you energy. But you, yourself, have to decide what you want and then the rest is never as hard. One of my mentor once said that the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Now is the time for you to invent your own future. 
The time is today. I would also like to remind you of how lucky you are. People around the world, especially in Thailand, would like to attend college in the United States, but many cannot afford it. Less than 1% of the world's population hold a degree from America. You are among the top 1%. Please be aware of your luck. Another of my mentor said on the day of my graduation that when much is given to you, then much is expected of you. Never underestimate the impact of a good mentor. I am here today because I have had wonderful mentors, beginning with my own mother, and then my many professors here at Keystone College, including Dr. Lan Chapmaster, my most wonderful first contact with the Early Childhood Education Division. Dr. Fran Langen and Professor Carol Fontana both continue to be two of my closest colleagues and will certainly be my lifelong friends who I love dearly. And Shirley Michaels, who has always loved me as one of her own that love will forever be reciprocated. There is not enough time today to name and thank all the people at Keystone College who have been kind to me and my friends at that time. There are mentors everywhere you go, and because of them, your life will change. And along the way, I hope that you have the opportunity to mentor someone as well. This cycle does not end. Your stage in life has changed. Now is the time for you to give back to society, and not only to the society, but to the world. Now the world is in so much need for people who are educated and have good hearts. Remember to set broad goals. Step out of your comfort zone. Challenge yourself. I would also like you to think of working internationally and perhaps working at my school in Thailand. <laughs> I will also tell my friends and associates to study at Keystone as well. Now is the time. You have the tools and the world is waiting for you. Congratulations and again, best of luck for the future. <laughs>